All right, some special classes of graphs for n greater than or equal to 3, Cn denotes a cycle on n vertices. Not very exciting, but here are pictures of cycles C3, C4, C5, and C6. Uh, and remember that the drawing is not critical. So just because I have neatly spaced them out uh, doesn't mean that they look like that. So they can a cycle can be drawn like this as long as the vertices are distinct and there's exactly one edge going from vertex i to vertex i plus 1 for each i. The notion of a cycle, clear? Complete graphs. For n greater than or equal to, that, there's a typo there, that should not be n greater than or equal to 3, it should be n greater than or equal to 1. For n greater than or equal to 1, kn denotes the complete graph. And here we're borrowing the hard k from complete, like, like in German, uh, because the soft C for cycle uh, has already been used. So Kn is a complete graph on n vertices. So here are your complete graphs of size 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Is a cycle an induced subgraph of a complete graph? Yes or no? There's only one case where that's true. K3 equals C3. K3 equals C3. But when N is four or more, a cycle is not an induced subgraph of the corresponding complete subgraph. It is a subgraph, but not an induced one. Here's a very special class of graphs, a class of trees. A graph on n vertices is a tree if it's connected and it has no cycles. So I show here a graph with vertex set 1 through 10. And by inspection, you can see that this graph is connected between any two vertices. There is a path. And there are no cycles as subgraphs of this graph. Any such graph is called a tree. There are many alternative definitions of a tree, but very important to this is the notion that between any two vertices in a tree, there is in fact a unique path. 